you know, this story is getting crazier and crazier. Um, minute. And, um, you know, it, it's just a lot of more twists and turns to this story. So the latest article is a, you know, a date with death. The Belizean cop shot dead by Canadian socialite Jasmine Hart. Okay, well, this guy confided to a friend that he was going to date. He is going on a date with someone whose name that he would take to the grave. Now, he supposedly said that on the night he was killed. This is insane. The more crazier, he gets crazier. The prominent police cop shot in the head by socialite Jasmine Hart and told a friend that he was going on a date when he was killed. The Daily Mail can exclusively reveal. Police Superintendent Jerry Jamont joked that he would take his secret to the grave when the curious pal asked him for details about the mysterious woman. Hours later, he was found floating in the shallow water beside a wooden jetty in the swank coastal enclave of Ambergris K with a single gunshot wound behind his ear. Aerial photos showed a pool of blood at the end of the pier and leading into the water. Jermont 42 had also boasted that he was staying for free at a luxury resort operated by Harton's husband, Andrew Ashcroft, who was the son of billionaire Lord Michael Ashcroft. His destination, the Grand Colony Villas, is sandwiched between the gleaming new Alia Hotel and another recently opened Ashcroft property and the Matter Rocks Hotel Pier where the veteran officer died. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Harwin, 32, is facing a charge of manslaughter by negligence after she told cops she accidentally opened fire as she passed Jermont the Glock service revolver. Now, how does that work? She passed it to him like this in the front, but he's got a bullet wound behind his head. How does any of that make sense? Huh? Sources say he placed it on the ground while the pair were drinking and socializing to the early hours last Friday in violations of Belize's midnight COVID curfew. The petite mother of two is being held at the notoriously tough Hattieville prison on the Belize mainland, mainland while her lawyers try to overturn the magistrate's decision to deny her bail. She should deny her bail. This damn friend who asked not to be named <clears throat> said Jamont contacted him last week to say he was headed to San Pedro and in the main settlement and tourum hub in the uh, Amberis Gate. He said he, this man has served previously as a senior officer for three years. He said, I asked him, where are you staying? And he said, Grand Colony. I said, what? You have money for that? He said, I have stripes with the ash cross. They are my friends. I said, you're with the rich people now. And he just laughed. <laughs> the friend said he knew of at least one previous occasion when Jamont, who has a long-term partner and five children, has stayed at the Grand Colony Villas for free. Hours before he was found dead, Jamont was in good spirits and was looking forward to meeting the mystery woman, the friend added. He was the happiest cop you'll ever see, but he was always like that, he said. Um, and then I said, where are you going tonight? And he said, I have a date. He recalled the girl. When I heard the voice, I asked who she was. He joked, that's my secret. 
this is the one I'm taking to the grave with me. And he did take it indeed. He says, I'm struggling to cope with what has happened. So, this is sad. Um, be, say, be sure your sins will find you out, won't it? He said he didn't know personally, but he had heard pre curfew. For the prosecution by Friday and a reply from Hartley's team by Monday instead of a hearing taking place next week, Wednesday. Hartley's attorney, Jeffrey Smith, said outside the courtroom in downtown Belize that it was the matter had been adjourned. The public prosecution filed a short statement, just one sentence saying, We object on the basis. Of a flight risk, adding nothing more. Listen, this is a mess. This is a mess. The truth is going to come out, and it, it, it can't be nothing nice. This man's been having an affair with this rich socialite in Belize. Um, and this Caucasian woman has been sneaking out on her family, having relations, situations, encounters with this black cop, and he ends up dead. I'm not laughing at because he got shot or anything. I'm laughing at what the hell is really going on. Is it a question? Is it is just man snot a slaughter? I mean, come on. It says this lady who was married to Andrew Cross, Ashcroft is a son of a British billionaire. Um. The clothing of jasmine, which contained red substance as that of blood, were retrieved and packaged. Also, her hands, which also contained red substance as blood, were swabbed. Germont had taken to the clinic where he was pronounced dead. What's that a question? What's that a question? I'll see y'all in the next video.